you could be experiencing water cuts. If you live around uh, the city of Joburg, the West Rand, Medafong, and Mukhali city municipalities, don't worry, it's not just your house. Uh, Rand Water says power supply failure at the Eichenhof booster pumping station has affected water pumping capacity uh, in the areas. Uh, now, let's find out where we are on this and when can you get your water back. Uh, Rand Water Executive Manager Eddie Singo joining us to uh, give us a, a glimmer of hope. Hello to you, Eddie Singo. Uh, so talk to me, first of all, about these water cuts in the, the city of Joburg, West Rand, Medafong and Mukhali City. Uh, as simply as you can, what is the problem? Yeah, good morning um, to yourself and good morning to the listeners of uh, ENCA. Um, indeed, we had a weekend that uh, we didn't expect will turn out the way it turned out. Um, so on, on the 29th, we lost um, one of the um, two 45 MVA transformers that supplies our Aikenhof system. Um, and and we are grateful city city power responded very quickly to come and work on that unfortunately it turned out that the um, magnitude of the challenge was a little bit high and then um, the following day the second um, transformer then failed um, which then rendered a kind of uh, water to the, the pumping uh, station um, dysfunctional. It was off for the entire day. Now, the Ekenhof system uh, supplies the western um, side of Johannesburg, um, the municipalities that you've just mentioned. The good thing is that yesterday um, morning, one transformer was then returned, and then in the evening, the second transformer around 5 past 8, um, it was then uh, returned back to service, which means that as of last night, um, Rendotra was then able to bring back the the um, uh, the plants uh, to operations. So we have been running at, at, at full capacity since last night. The, um, the challenge, you know, which is different from electricity, with electricity, as soon as you bring it back, you switch on a, 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 a switch or a second breaker, then within no time you've got the electricity to the, the, that area of supply. With the water, as soon as we then we get um, electricity, then we start afresh mm. uh, with the um, uh, with the treatment plant. All your dosing plants now have to be uh, restarted. The purification process has to then kick in until you then fill up the consumer reservoirs. So as we speak now, our biggest um, hurdle is to ensure that we replenish all the reservoirs. The challenge then becomes, as we replenish, the consumers are consuming. So um, it then takes longer for, for, for that graph to then rise. Yeah, it's a bit of a knock-on effect, isn't it, uh, Eddie? Uh, just speak to me quickly. I know there are some residents who've been tweeting me this morning and ENCA uh, saying that, yes, they've seen the reports that the power came back on. Uh, they still don't have water this morning. Uh, just give them uh, a sense of hope. I mean, what is the timeline? Knowing everything you've just explained and understanding that, what is the timeline for those watching at home in these areas where they can turn their taps back on very quickly? Perhaps it's important to also start this way. You, you, you know, with the water treatment process, right from the beginning of the water coming from Valdem to us being able to send that water out into the reservoirs, it's a it's, it's a four to six hour long process just to get that drop out. Mm. Because the plant, remember the plant, that plant was off. But fortunately, not all the plants were off. So... Immediately when we started, we were able to then steal water from other um, systems and then push that water into the Aiken of uh, system just to try and replenish that system. And of course, usually when we do that, um, robbing call to feed Peter, you then create challenges on both areas. But what, what we then are, are short of is that because it is winter now, um, it looks like the demand is not as bad as it would have been in summer. And we are hoping 
that with that, we'll start replenishing our reservoirs quicker, provided our um, consumers, they, they don't consume as much. You, 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 we always indicate that your lowest areas will be the first ones to get. And therefore, the plea is that those that are at lowest areas, please think for the guys that are um, on top of the hill, because they'll be the last. If the lowest areas use too much, yeah. then the guys on top will take longer before they get they get water. Now, there are areas that will start getting water today um, without a, a, a problem, because they are in low-lying areas. There are areas um, that are going to get water perhaps from tonight up to tomorrow. Um, having failed the the low lying areas and maybe the the consumers at low lying areas having been satisfied with with the use of water then that allows us to build up the system all right so, so high lying areas eddie sorry let me come in there so high lying yeah. areas around yes. uh, joburg west could expect water at a later time of the day i interrupted because i want to ask this question before i say goodbye to you briefly if you could so it's a power yeah. failure mm. that caused an issue for rand water was this a failure of the generators or was this due to load shedding and how much of an issue is the combination of load shedding and water shortage is going to be uh, this winter very briefly yeah. if you could no, good question. Yes, um, this weekend, it was a failure of two transformers. That, that, was, that, that was a failure as, as, as reported. Now, um, you're asking the impact of, of, of um, load shedding. Fortunately, ourselves and all our electricity suppliers, we've got an agreement that we become one of the last institutions to be load shed. So the load shed households, the load shed some other factories, but not water, because water is life. So um, we can't have areas that have got water, residential areas that have got electricity, um, and your treatment plants and the pumping plants um, do not have electricity. So that agreement at least helps us. So in the main, we don't always have an um, experience an impact on you know re resulting in that comes from load shedding unless on our tertiary plants. So our tertiary plants are where they are localized. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. They are sharing power with residents. Uh, so those ones, when they get load shed, fortunately those, we've got adequate backup um, power supply because those are small plants. But for big ones like like uh, your acre north, you would not have backup uh, supply. Those are huge. I, I spoke about it for 45 MVA transformer. So you it seems the bigger ones to are going to be able to stay on. It looks like the small ones. Uh, Eddie, I'm going to say thank you very much, because you and I yeah. could talk about the water power issues all day, but I think we're getting the gist of, of what you're saying. The bigger power, pay, the bigger water plants will have power. The smaller ones, it seems like in this case, I can offer. Uh, there's a plan to try and get them uh, to not switch off. But for the moment, difficult job. I know Randwater Executive Manager Eddie Single uh, joining us here on ENCA, but that water shortage in the west of Joburg.